Good evening, everyone. I'm Charlie Lapistoro. In Bulldogs world, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. And the final NCAA attendance report released today, Mississippi State ranked seventh in all of Division I, bringing in over 6,600 fans a game to Humphrey. Now, for a team that went to the Final Four and knocked off undefeated UConn with an unforgettable buzzer beater in OT, why wouldn't you want to keep coming back to support this team? As I'm sure many of those same fans were at the Final Four in person cheering those Bulldogs on. State's average attendance was almost a 1,500 person increase from last season, which was the third largest improvement in the nation and first in the SEC. The attendance keeps growing and State keeps on winning. The Bulldogs returned nine players who played during last season's historic run in route to playing in the national championship game. Season tickets, of course, are on sale at State's website. Well, the show must go on for Ole Miss with a new head coach at the helm. That means new leadership with a new season and a quick turnaround for players to get adjusted to. Yet there's still practice. There's still a season just around the corner and Ole Miss, they're getting ready. Day six of camp was indoors Monday, getting ready for this new season. And Ole Miss players talked about having that new coach last week at Media Day. He's been really bringing some good energy. Um, Talked to him a few times, like every time I see him, uh, we have some words. But he's been bringing some good energy, and um, players are excited to play for him. It's been really good, you know. Um, this, this is a dream dog that he wanted, and he he's showing the, showing us the leadership, and you know, he's showing us ways that you know we can do certain things and when not to do it. Um, he's been real good, and I'm, I'm proud to have him aboard. Also in the SEC, Alabama practicing pads for the first time today in this fall camp, practicing for nearly two hours according to RollTide.com. It was the fifth of 25 practices during camp for the preseason first-ranked team in the nation, focusing today on fundamentals and conditioning. Well, a rally is being planned, and it's not for a presidential candidate or politician, but a free agent quarterback who's had some strong political stances, Colin Kaepernick. Spike Lee is reportedly promoting a planned rally for the free agent, Lee tweeted an ad for the rally scheduled for August 23rd outside of the NFL's headquarters in New York City. Lee says on Twitter he didn't organize the protest, but adds he supports Kaepernick and his stance on the injustices in the USA. The rally is being organized by several civil rights groups. Last year, his choosing to kneel during the playing of the national anthem before games in hopes to bring awareness to the racial unrest caused a lot of controversy and discussion. After Kaepernick left the San Francisco 49ers in March, he hasn't been signed by any team. Well, it's not the Super Bowl, but Super Cup. The UEFA Super Cup features some household names. Real Madrid and Manchester United, 24th minute. Casemiro sneaks it in. There was controversy about a possible offsides call, but goal stands. Real Madrid up 152nd minute. Isco and Bale on the give and go. Isco gets it back and scores. Real Madrid up 2-0. Now Lukaku tries to score off the rebound, but it's too high in the 62nd minute though he wasn't going to pass up another chance with this rebound he kicks it in this time to put his team on the board now in extra time Manu has a chance to tie it Flani tries to head it in but it's saved by Navas and Real Madrid wins their fifth UEFA Super Cup two to one and why not celebrate after a win like that one way to celebrate your birthday is to get 1,000 career hits it's what Mike Trout did Monday night in the fourth inning against the Orioles Trout is at the 1,000 hit mark saying, happy birthday to me. Got to save that baseball for the books as the fans are excited. And Trout taking it all in at second base as that hit just so happened to be a double. And for Trout, double celebration. Double celebration is Pretty always good. nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some way to celebrate he, I remember birthday. when he came up in the minors. He was really good. Yeah. And not doing well in the majors. Not in the majors. Yeah. yeah. 